Hey there, how's it going everybody? It's Ross and it's time to take a look at some uh, diamond paintings that I picked out from fan cells. Uh, they've sent me diamond paintings in the past and they want to know if they could send me some more diamond paintings. I said yes. So I went to their site, picked out a few things. They have arrived and it's time to take a look at them. I'll show you what I picked out. I've got some traditional canvas. I've got, I think, a special shaped and then I've got some like off the canvas diamond craft type of painting. So if you've never checked out fan cells, check them out. I've linked down below. I've linked it down below to all these items. If you see something you like, you want to order for yourself, there's a link to everything there. All kinds of diamond paintings to choose from. They also have some cross stitch stuff, um, but I'm a diamond painter, so I go for the diamond paintings and let's see what I picked out. So we'll start off with traditional canvas and I'm learning to get fancy with my videos and I'm going to everybody sit back. I'm going to like put a picture of what the painting is like supposed to look like, what it's inspired by, or actually like kind of a picture of what it's going to look like um, in the video. I've learned how to do that in my how many years of doing videos here on YouTube. I finally learned how to like add images to my video. So look forward to that. So uh, let us begin with the traditional canvas. This one is, I say, a really good deal. Let me find it. Um, this is a 35 by 35 centimeter picture. It's a full drill. It is a round drill. And it's only $2.15. 215. 215. Or full size canvas. And I love it. So it comes packaged like this, minus the label. I add that so I know where it came from when I do these videos. Because this actually came a while ago, like a week or so ago, but I've just been too busy to sit down and record and finally have a chance now tonight to record. So it's happening. Um, it is still available. Um, I've checked and everything they've sent is still up on their website to order. So if you like this and you want to get it, link to it down below. I mean, for $2.15, you can't really pass it up. And it's an awesome picture. Um, so it is a, a rooster. So on their website, it is a 5D DIY full round drill diamond painting cock kit home decor art craft. I love it so, so much. So that's what the canvas looks like. Look at it up close. Looks excellent. I have no issues with reading it. Um, down here in this section in the rooster's tail, it is kind of dark. So I'll probably use a light pad to like help with those areas, but it looks great. A lot of white eye all around, and that's gonna be how you, if you've never diamond painted before, and how you figure out what goes where. We have this little chart here on the side. You go down and number 19 is the letter I, which also gives you a number that is a DMC number, refers to the color of your drill piece. 3865 and it's number 19 so then you go to all of these pieces right here and this one comes in little um, zip top baggies and obviously you can have a pretty good idea of which bag it is because it is this right here um, it shows number 19. So one thing I noticed, this does not have the number of the canvas that they go to. So what I'm talking about is on the top here is this W1123, that's like the painting number. Uh, usually or sometimes you'll see it like attached that number here on the packaging for the drill pieces or actually printed like right on the bag. This one doesn't have that so I'll just make note of it 
when I put this away to label this so I know it goes to this. Just in case they get separated, I know what goes where. Also, it comes with your tool kit. If you've never diamond panned before, this is the only tools you'll need. So if this is like your first time doing it, and I would say use these. Make sure you actually enjoy the craft before you go in and get all the extras that you can buy because there's all kinds of extras out there. But getting started, when I had my first diamond painting, this is all I had. I didn't know anything else about diamond painting, what, six years ago? And I just kind of figured it out. And I used this for the longest time before I first started kind of branching out and getting, you can get different pen styles, styluses, pens, whatever you want to call it. There's all different kinds of trays you can use now. Um, but starting out, I say use this, then this red wax piece. Use this to pick up your diamond pieces. So what you do on the tip of this pink pen is like a little cavity. And you stick the tip of the pen into this red wax. So you get some red wax in that tip. And then you take that end of that pen and you just stick it in the drills. And the drills are the diamond pieces, the round pieces, the beads, gems, whatever you want to call them. There's no right or wrong terms with diamond painting. Whatever you want to call it, call it, whatever works for you. That's what you call it. Um, but the pieces are flat on one side, then the top is kind of rounded and usually has edges to capture the light. So you want to poke it from, so the top's up, and then the flat surface will go onto the canvas. This canvas is adhesive, so it is sticky, so then your diamond pieces will stick to this on its own. And that's diamond painting. So it's pretty much a paint by number. But instead of having little jars of paint, you have bags of uh, diamond pieces. So, this one has 19 colors. I will pause right now and insert the picture that this is inspired by or what it's, you know, what this is supposed to look like, what it's based off of. The picture, like this little thumbnail. The full size picture from the website I will post right here so you can see what it's gonna what it looks like and then kind of see how it looks here on the canvas. So then once it's complete, it's gonna be pixelated, but I think this is gonna look good because the rooster is front and center. It's large, it takes up most of it, it's your focal point. So that is gonna look good. The background also pretty good looking. So I think once you put your diamond pieces on it, I think it's still gonna look like this. Um, the thing you gotta be careful is when you're getting diamond paintings, especially these sizes and the smaller is the ones I like to work with, that you don't wanna have a lot going on in your picture because if there's a lot of detail in your picture, you're gonna lose it when you do the diamond paintings. So you wanna make sure it's kind of like big, bold subjects that don't have a whole lot of detail. So when you do all the diamond pieces, it's still gonna look like the picture it's supposed to look like. So. That's just my little little bit of information that I've learned over the years of doing diamond painting is while the pictures look really cool, they got all the details, you're not gonna see all the details once they're completed. But I think this one is gonna look great because it's not a heavily detailed picture and it's fun. It's a big old rooster, so there's that. And for $2.15, $2.15 for that picture. Great deal, okay. On to the next one, which is another canvas, but this is what they call a partial drill. So that was a full drill where you do the entire area with your diamond pieces. This one you only do certain areas. It's also what they call a special shaped um, uh, partial. Let me find it here. There it is. Take it out of the bag. So. This is a 30 by 40, and it's $4.24. And this one here, I'll show you. See, it comes with a toolkit like this. All your diamond paintings will come with this basic toolkit. So, like I said, if you never did it before, everything you need is right here. And then once you get into the hobby and you buy a bunch of paintings, you'll have a bunch of those toolkits floating around your house. Um, here's this picture I chose. So it is cake with flowers and fruit. I thought it looked it looked really good, like I wanna eat it. I do enjoy cake and I thought this was pretty cool. 
Um, I don't think so. The price. This is four dollars and twenty four cents. A thirty by forty. Um, I will insert a picture here of what it will look like. They actually have a picture of it, a completed one with the diamond pieces all on it. So I mean, this one is pretty much going to be what you see is what you get because since this is a partial, you still see a lot of the printed detail once it's completed because you're only putting the diamond pieces in the areas where it has like the number. So like seven, six, the petals of the flowers. Um, I think these are supposed to be like blueberries, number six. Uh, you got the flower and the leaves up here, and then it's kind of like the gold accents around. You'll do that, but like the like the most of the cake is just the printed picture. You do nothing to. Also, the background you won't do anything because it's just plain white. So unlike the rooster, which was plain white, but you still did all your diamond pieces there. This one is not. Also, it's only sticky where you put your diamond pieces. So like that six is sticky right there because I put a diamond there, but like right next to it, it's not sticky. So these also go a lot quicker than that full picture because you're only doing pieces here and there. And also you got some pretty large pieces. So I would say this would be a good one to maybe try it out because you're not doing the full picture. I know my first couple diamond paintings were partial pictures where you only did like part of the picture and the rest of the background was already printed and you did nothing with. So I think that's like a good, like get into the water of diamond painting and see if you like how it's going. And then if you do and really love it, you're all in. Um, so like I said with that other picture, usually the painting number is on your packaging of diamond pieces. So here we have that GSYX214. If you look on these here, right on that package, it says GSYX214. And then also the 30X40, that's just the canvas size, the picture size. And then you have the numbers that helps like uh, 10 and 6, or that's 1. I'm reading it backwards on my camera, so it's like, oh, is that 10? But yeah, like 1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5 those will match up with this little chart over here and this one only has looks like eight different diamond pieces so you got one two three four five six seven eight well this one's pretty straightforward where you know one is one two is two three is three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight other ones um are not like that like that rooster we had a letters for the symbols so it's kind of kind of make sure you're keeping up with the canvas you're working on and what the little chart is. So on this one, it's pretty straightforward. These sixes, the big old like purple round jewels will go where six is. So pretty cool. I like this one. So $4.24 for this one. Okay. What is the next one? So the next pieces are what someone referred to as like off the canvas. So it's not a traditional canvas diamond painting. These are um, wood decorations, ornaments. Um, they call them like desktop diamond painting ornament or desktop diamond or tabletop decor, art table decor. Um, it's just a decoration you will set up and they are usually either plastic or wood. I'm not sure which ones these are. It looks like I have one that's wooden by the description. The other two might be plastic. We'll find out when we look at them, but I grabbed three of them. They come in these boxes here. I really enjoy these because it's a really easy way to finish, display your finished picture or your finished diamond painting because it comes with a stand to set it up. So you just pretty much pop in the stand once done and you can set it wherever you've got it done, so. Let's see what this one here. So this one here is a plastic one. Okay. I love this. I love these so much. I so say these would be also a good like try out diamond painting because it's a smaller size project. So it won't take up a long time if you're really like I'm not enjoying this at all. It's like okay, I did the one picture, I'm done, I'm good. Or it's like I did one picture, I want more now. <laughs> so that's what happened to me. I did one picture and I wanted more. And I just fell down that hole of diamond painting and I love it. So again, your toolkit, everything you need right here. 
your tray, square wax, pink pen. And then we have our diamond pieces. And these, if you look at them, they are extra sparkly. These are like what they call rhinestone style. So they are kind of like a clear glass and the backing's got, the backside has like silver on it. So it looks like gems and it looks really cool when they're finished. Um, and then here we have this little plastic rectangle with a slot in it. This is the base, this is what our project will sit in and then we can display it wherever we want. And here is the project. So fun. It is a gingerbread house. Um, love this. So cool. Kind of hold it at an angle here so you don't get my ring light reflection. But look at that. So this one you will diamond paint everywhere. It's got your little pieces or your little spots for everything. And this one, you'll match up the number in the circle to the number on the bag or letter on the bag, depending on which one you're doing. So you got like A and B. So I'm guessing we have one through nine, then A and B. We'll finish it out. So I like that. I will insert a picture right here of what it looks like with the diamond pieces on it. And then here it is again. $7.28 for this right now. And these prices are as of November 1st, 2023. If you're watching this at a later date, the prices might be different. But when I'm recording this, it's $7.28 for this right here. And the size on this, let me see. They usually have it listed on the site. It is approximately six inches across by seven and three quarter inches tall. So just like, we'll say roughly like six by seven and a half little picture and then once it's done you can just set it wherever you want on the table on a shelf on a bookshelf i think wherever else but yeah easy project to do and display because i love it because you just take this and you pop it into a little slot there and boom done you got a project ready to be shown off wherever you want so love these kinds of projects that's why you see me get a lot of these because they're what I really, really enjoy doing. Um, not really big into like the large canvas stuff. That's just not my thing. I rather do these small projects like this. And that's the great thing with diamond painting. There's a variety of everything for everybody. So if there's something you like, there's stuff for it. All right, what's in this next one? I'm guessing this next one's probably similar Another plastic one. Yep. So this one is not winter or Christmas related, but definitely probably say come like January, February, I'd be ready for it just to get some color and some spring ideas, a spring summer feeling into my life. So this is $8.49. It's called Special Shape Diamond Art Table Decor for Home Office Table Decor Number One. This comes with another tool kit. And this one actually has a little um, zipper top baggies included with it. So sometimes you'll get those, sometimes you won't. I don't use them for my projects. So whether they're there or not, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, here is our diamond pieces. And this one has some special shaped ones there we see. This has lots of oranges and yellows and pinks in it. And then we have, instead of a rectangle base, we have a round circular base with a slot in it. And then here is what I picked out. It is a little jar of flowers. Like you went out to the garden and picked some. So they almost look like zinnias in different colors. And then just in that little jar of water. So I think that looks really, really cool. So you see there the K and the L and the H are all special shaped diamond pieces. And then everything else is the round style. Um, the size on this picture. Let's take a look at that. 
and I'll insert a picture of it completed right here so you can see what it looks like while I look for the dimensions on this. This one looks really, really sharp when it's done. I gotta say in the pictures, it looks good. So I really like this. And this is about seven and three quarters inches across by seven and three quarters tall. So just under eight by eight is the overall size. I think it looks really good. So it'll be, like I said, perfect come like in the deep, boring, sad, gray days of winter time to have this bright, shiny little jar of flowers to add some color in life to wherever. So I love this. Oh, I love it so much. We'll throw this back in the box so we don't lose anything. And then one final one. Did I say the price on that's eight dollars and forty nine cents. So then here is the last one. This will be a wood one. Just by my powers of deduction, it is the fifth of the five tabs I have opened up on the fan cell site of what I picked out. So let's get this out of the box. This is tight in the box. So this has a wood base that is oval shaped with our slot in it. Here we have our diamond pieces. So there's that. Let's see here. Here is our toolkit. And let's get our canvas out. There we go. So. Yay, I love this. So, oh, If you've watched my channel, you will see I get a lot of diamond paints that have cardinals on it. It's just one of the things I love. I love cardinals. I know I said in an earlier video, like, if it go, like, hierarchy of my favorite kinds of birds, it is flamingos, number one. Number two would be cardinals. Number three are penguins. And I know someone mentioned in the comments one time that they like hummingbirds. And hummingbirds fall in number four on my list of birds. So these are, uh, like, a pair of cardinals with a couple little baby cardinals there on the branch. With some holly leaves and a Christmas tree in the background. I love this. This is $4.84. This is wood. So, And this one is, I would say, like a partial um, off-the-canvas decoration. Because... There's parts where you don't do any diamond painting. So you see there, like under the branch there, that where it's just plain. Also the leaves, you don't do a lot of diamond painting. And down here on the base, like where there would be snow, no diamond painting. You just do some accents on, like, so it looks like it's like a round wood base. Um, it's got that, like, um, almost like that 3D, like, trompe l'oeil effect to it, where it looks like it's a rounded base, but it's not. It's just the way they've printed it and the light effects makes it look like it is and then got all that and then on the tree you will only do bits and pieces so like looks like some garland and like whether there be maybe like lights or ornaments and the star at the top there's the tree branches there i love this so much fan cells thank you so much for letting me pick out these paintings i love them I want to work on them right now, but that's not possible because I only have two hands and really there's only one hand that diamond paints my left hand. I am a left-handed person, so this is what I use the diamond paint with. Also, when I diamond paint, um, I do mine one at a time, like one drill at a time. There's, You can get different tips that have like multiple drills where you can do like four or seven or nine or three. I don't play that game. I just do one, one at a time. It's just for me, it's a very relaxing hobby to do after a long day at work. I will sit down and do diamond painting for a little bit in the evening. Sometimes in the morning before work, I'll sit down and do diamond painting. But I love this hobby so much. Very, very relaxing. Just nice to sit down and put on some music or a TV show or just something to listen to. And just diamond paint away the night is what I do. I feel like as of late. And I love this. So Love these. If you see something you like, I have a link down below to order them. And again, thank you, fan cells, for sending these to me. I love them, and I will see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.